I swear this dress is that dress that gives you the vibe of you have your life put together hence why you can risk showing just one shoulder not too much skin other people would see me and be like hey what did you get your dress from i'd be like no i made it what do you mean i made this myself <laughs> do you want to make one for you <laughs> I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this beautiful yellow elegant classy comfortable timeless dress that i have on it has this off the shoulder on one side long sleeve and it's sort of midi length and it is bodycon so every curve in your gorgeous body is going to be nicely packaged in this dress i don't know why i'm so hype i'm just very 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 happy with the outcome so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to make the pattern and then cut and sew your dress i did everything from scratch so this is the only video you need to watch you would need two meters of some type of jersey fabric but make sure it's thick enough so your undergarment is not on show when you have the dress on because the silhouette is quite fitted on the body with that being said let's get straight into this video get your notepad your pen your fabric anything you're going to be needing and let's get straight into this if you haven't joined the kd vast fam already make sure to click that subscribe button down below turn on the notifications so you know every week when i have new videos on the channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it and let's get sewing let's get sewing let's get sewing I'm going to be working with the following measurements to create the patterns for this dress and they're here listed on the screen. So make sure to work with yours or your clients. And I also have a tutorial where I show you how to take body measurements if you don't know how that works. So I'm going to be starting off with making the pattern and because I want to make one full dress pattern, I folded my pattern piece or my pattern paper in half. So I have a fold edge on this side and that's going to become my center front slash center back edge so once you have that large piece of paper folded the first thing i'm doing here is marking the vertical distance from my shoulder to my bust which is 10 inches then i went ahead to mark a quarter of my bust minus one i'm minusing one because my fabric has some stretch so i'm accommodating for that in my pattern so i'm just going in here to draw my bust line like so before going ahead to mark the vertical distance between my bust and my waist then like i did for my bust i'm going to mark a quarter of my waistline minus one and i'm going to mark it along the side like so before going in to square across from the center front edge towards the side so after doing that for the waist we're essentially going to repeat the same for the hip and for the dress hem i'm marking the vertical distance from my waist to my hip and then marking a quarter of my hip measurement minus one or half an inch depending on how stretchy your fabric is so my dress length is 45 inches because I wanted it to be midi length and I'm just going in here to draw in a quarter of my hip minus one so I have those lines ready to be connected together along the side. Having some kind of French curve or pattern master, any ruler that has a curved end will just make doing this a lot easier. For the dress hem himself, I decided to work with a width of 8.5 inches because I wanted it to be sort of tailored in around the bottom of the dress. I'm just going in here to connect the dress hem to my hip point using my pattern master and my marker pen ensuring I have curved points around my hip. So the next thing I'm going to be working on is drawing in sort of like that shoulder sleeve arm area and I'm marking half of my across shoulder measurement. I have broad shoulders so just work with yours so you have a better fit. Next up from that shoulder point I'm drawing a diagonal line that measures roughly 10 inches and this is going to become that top shoulder area that will be connected to the bottom sleeve. The sleeve width here is roughly 5.5 inches and I'm squaring that point across like so before drawing by freehand that under bust to sleeve area. I always like to do curves like this by hand first before going back to refine it. And this is the type of sleeve that mimics a kimono where the sleeve is attached to the body 
and that is how the shape of the main dress looks like so i'm just going ahead to cut out the pattern piece like so around the side around the bottom so i have this pattern ready to be altered in the way that i want it to go so because i wanted that sort of slouchy elegant shoulder neckline i'm going to be slashing and spreading from one point of the shoulder to the arm area of the corresponding side you can do this in the left direction or in the right direction whatever you prefer so i'm working in this direction for this particular dress design and i'm going to be slashing from the shoulder towards her underarm and cut just up until the edge of the paper then i'm going to be spreading this in such a way that i add seven inches to that top shoulder area so i've grabbed some paper layer that underneath and i've taped it across like so max my seven inches and i'm going to be adding more tape so the pattern stays put and it doesn't move around once you have enough tape to hold your pattern piece onto that extra paper underneath you would need to connect your seven inch to the bottom of your sleeve in such a way that you have a new shoulder line on that side by spreading the garment like this what will happen when you wear it is it will automatically fall to one side of your shoulder which gives it that off a shoulder feel that this design has so i'm just extending my neckline by two inches upwards to create a fold over facing that will help me finish off the neckline of the dress so i'm just drawing in the top of that facing edge like so and after this, add a one centimeter seam allowance around the pattern and a two centimeter hem allowance to the bottom of the dress. That way you have enough room to fold over and finish the hemline of the dress. Just be mindful when you're drawing hems that go in like that, your seam allowance should point outwards. So when it folds in, it meets with the corresponding edge. For example, this facing, I added that point there. So when it folded over, it sort of folds into that shoulder seam. You would need to fold this over and then trace that point and add any extra pattern paper if you need to do so. Once you've added that point, you will find that once you stitch that particular part of the dress and tuck it in, it actually stays inside. The other pattern I created was for the sleeve, which measures the same width as the top sleeve on that top edge. And then the bottom is slightly narrower because I want it to fit nice and tight around my arm. The sleeve itself is roughly 12 to 13 inches. So it's a nice long sleeve. And I want it to fit in such a way that it's fitted around my wrist and it sits into the top half of the dress. So the fabric I'm working with is this cotton jersey in this beautiful mustard yellow. I think yellow is like my all-time favorite color. It just looks so beautiful on my skin. And the fabric is thick enough to cut just one layer without your underwear showing. So the next thing I'd like for you to keep in mind is your fabric width. Make sure you choose a wide fabric if you want to work with the dimensions of the pattern you've made. Because my pattern was too wide, I ended up folding in the sleeve a little bit and accommodating for that sleeve width on my bottom sleeve pattern. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing your fabric or when you're making your pattern by either making the sleeve slightly shorter or buying a fabric that is slightly wider. So I've gone ahead to cut out all of my pieces. I have my main dress, which I cut two off, one for the front and one for the back of the dress. And then my sleeve pieces, which I cut two, one for the left sleeve and one for the right sleeve of the dress. So in the dress, the first thing you need to do is to join the side seams of the front to the back. At this point, the front and the back are essentially the same shape, but you will need to leave that arm opening sort of open to, for the sleeve to be attached. You need to leave the hemline open as well as the neckline of the dress. So I'm sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance all the way where necessary and then going back in to do a zigzag stitch just to finish off the hem this is optional because it's a knitted fabric so it doesn't really fray on the edges like a woven fabric would but i just wanted to go ahead and show you guys how i would finish off this sort of like hem if i was doing this for like a client for the dress hem itself i am using a zigzag stitch to fold and stitch it like so it just finishes off nicely and because it's zigzag it would not necessarily break when i wear this dress so this is what it is looking like i went ahead to give it a nice press where necessary and i'm going to be folding in that neckline facing inwards like so 
So I will be joining it in such a way that I'm literally just stitching that bottom edge of the facing to the seam allowance of the shoulder and that would automatically tuck that facing part in giving it a really nice finished hem on the neckline for the sleeve the first thing you need to do is to join the side so you have one full sleeve piece ready to be attached to that opening of the dress give it a press if you want to as well as finish off the sleeve hem once that is all done, you go ahead and put the side with the seam at the bottom of the or the underarm of the dress and then the sort of smooth or the side on the fold you put on the top side of the dress. So I'm just adding some pins here, aligning notches together, side seam to side seam and I'm going to be sewing the sleeve into that armhole of the dress on a one centimeter seam allowance. This you need to do for your left and for the right hand side. And after stitching that in place, you have the option to go back and do that zigzag trick to finish off the seam or just leave it like that if it's a project you're doing for yourself and you can't be bothered to do the extra step of the zigzag. But what that done, the dress is complete. Make sure to give it a nice press to relax all of the folded edges, all of the seams, and to create a nice finished product. The dress fits so nicely, like is it's insane. It just sits so comfortably as well on the body because it has some stretch. And it's something that I know I would be able to wear a lot when I have to attend either virtual or real life events. And I want a garment that is really elegant but still comfy and has a really nice punch of color because of the mustard yellow that I chose to work with. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was really, really straightforward and easy to make. It's a silhouette I've been wanting to try for the longest time. You know, that sort of body con, but have a little bit of shoulder, clavicle, skin action going. And I'm actually glad it turned out really well. If you do want the neckline to be a lot lower, say like here, then you would have to drop the neckline by, I don't know, two, three inches to a point that you're comfortable with basically but i'm really happy with the outcome i love the color of the fabric as well yellow is my all-time favorite i if you're new, if you're not new to this channel you already know that but if you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below let me know also if you'll be recreating this what changes and tweaks you make and yeah i'll see you in my next one <laughs> bye